And we're gonna spin up and we're gonna import a whole new package here. DLL, not, it's not a package, it's just the DLL. And then we fix the errors. So, stay tuned. All right, now we built our DLL. We've su successfully built our DLL, and Im on import into Unity, we have a few errors. These errors pertain to files being duplicated. So this already exists, and we've just imported an another one. So let's uh, get rid of the old ones that we have in our C sharp assembly, our current assembly. Uh, let's I think if I close and restart it will reload. It's did not reload. The benefit of building a simple project like this outside of your your normal project is it can be used in any project and something like accessing the input manager is something that can be used in any other project so it's generally a good idea to build separate uh, classes and uh, use them wherever you can. So here's the attribute. This is the one conflict. It's no longer necessary here. And also the drawer. So right now we should be error free. Let's rebuild our unity. Compile away. Immediately the errors run away. Awesome. Alright, back to our Sentinel and our input manager is stable. Let's test. Mouse button fire three, that's the scroll wheel on the mouse button. Maybe I should turn off the timed spawners also. Alright, now I can shoot. Awesome, everything works. So we have a few extra files here that were copied over on the build. I'm, I'm not familiar with all the files and how everything works and I, I'm not sure what this file is for the PDB file but it's exported and it, it doesn't cause an error in earlier versions of Unity right now I'm on four point six but I noticed with later the later versions of Unity well the earlier versions um, 5.0 and above having this file in the directory causes an error so um, I'm going to remove the file and I will show you how to stop the file from being built in, in the project well let's do it this way let's stop the file from being built in the project clean the solution So now let's see um, what Unity says. <laughs> okay, did not clean the solution. Oh, it did. Okay, now the files are gone. 
I'm not sure if these are unities files. No. Okay. So now that P D B file is gone. Into your project settings. Advanced on the build tab and debug info should be set to none. Do that for both projects. Again, I'm not sure what this does or why, but it worked to keep the error from showing up in Unity's 5.0 and above build. Now um, our DLL has been imported again and the files are gone. Let's see our documentation at work. Here we are. Attribute to draw an input a input manager pop-up to replace the text field slot. So on the next build that would fix that in the documentation. So now we've started with C sharp scripts in our Unity project, made a DLL and imported that DLL back to our Unity project and used it. In this tutorial, we use existing Unity scripts, created DLLs and imported them back into Unity. Brought to you by Calo Creation. Don't forget to follow us on your favorite social media, visit our website, and qualls. Thank you.